People saying you're never gonna do it. I've been told that all my life that you can't do this, you can't do that. You shouldn't go to America, what if, what if. I'm like, I'm gonna prove everybody wrong. This is a, a massive day for Flex Lewis. Uh, this is a day that he's been uh, dreaming and wishing for for the last 12 months. He's been prepping himself for the last 12 months for this. Uh, Gaspari on board is an absolutely fantastic thing for Flex because they're behind him 100% and it seems uh, quite unique that last year they, they signed him up at the Olympia. 12 months later, he's on stage a Gaspari athlete. Here it is. This is this is a big show. This is the Olympia. Long road, yeah. Just from last year, you came to my booth, you know, as an amateur, and now <laughs> I didn't even understand them, and, and now you're signed up and you're now competing in this show. Yeah, How's that feel? That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so put, so more pressure. No, you know, I know you're doing. I know you're doing your best. That's what I just told you. I'm not putting you under pressure. I was an athlete. I know what it's like. And I never had, you know, I didn't have, I mean, I had it when it was Joe Weider. And Joe Weider was a good, you know, he was a good guy. He actually was a guy there. And he would call me and, you know, keep me motivated. That's one thing good about when I was competing. And, and he's not there anymore, which is, you know, which is hard. Like with AMI, it's, you're dealing with different people, which is still cool. But when you had Joe Weider, he was really there with the athletes. So now it's like, I feel like now I'm doing the same thing. I'm passing the torch on to you. And so you got to do what you got to do and show these guys, you know, you're starting to get a good following. You're getting a fan base. And that's what we're, you know, that's what we're doing with Gaspari Nutrition and with you. So you want to, are you willing to show me what you look like? Am I willing? <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it through some mandatories. See if you remember what I taught you. Wait, this. Okay, let's just, okay, start from the front. The front relaxed. Go on down again. All right. One time. One turn. Was your chest looking flat? It's actually, it yeah. actually looks fuller. Yeah. I mean, in, at the Tampa shows, you had no chest. Now I'm pleased. I think you're, 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 you're hitting. It. <laughs> and to look like that at 24 years of age, you know, you've got, uh, you've got 16 years. Yeah. You're going to mature and mature and mature. Okay. Let me uh, get 
I'll be, an old, I'll be an old 60-year-old guy. Speaking in front of me. David Henry's strengths is his thickness. His thickness, you know, yeah. We can't beat David Henry on a rear double bicep pose as far as thickness is concerned, but as far as a package and structure and condition, yeah. you'll beat him. Yeah, I've never seen this separation come out over here. Yeah, that line, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty cool. But we we did a lot of alterations coming into this show. Yeah, yeah. We did uh, a lot of things. Uh... Pretty good. You look fuller and bigger. I don't know what you weigh, but no. I, I wouldn't even care about the scale. It's an illusion. It doesn't make any difference. It's all an illusion. Right? Yeah. No, don't worry. Don't even think about it until you no, go out there. No, it's not important. It's we don't care important. what it looks like. You, nothing's going to touch you. And you can go into the open classes and cause some bloody yeah. stupid damage in those classes. Yeah. This is one of the few times I think that Flex has actually woken up and looked in the mirror and, and can actually see what he really looks like. Uh, in the past, I don't think he's always realised how good he is. Um, I guess that's the beauty of bodybuilding, you're never really happy. I don't make predictions on how he's going to place other than the fact that uh, he's going to do very, very well. Because the standard of any show, whether it's the Olympia or whether it was the Tampa or whether it was the Europa, you know, you've got some really class competitors there. But I'm very, very, very confident today that he's going to do the business today. His biggest threat is David Henry in the eyes of me for what I saw of David last night in the, the Olympia. David Henry! I like to do my talking on stage. I like to pop when I pause and, and I get the comment all the time it's like, where the heck did that come from? And that's what that's what I like, you know. And yeah, and I'd, I'd like to look like a freak sometimes down there at the booth, you know, freaks draw attention, but you know, it's just bodybuilding and uh, you've got to have a total package and that's what I'm striving for.
a beautiful trophy of $2,000. And that goes to competitor number 11, James Flex-Lewis. Look at Flex! show and I'm um, one of the best in, in the world at 202 pounds and um, third in you know you can say third third in the world uh, so it's uh, yeah I mean me you know I, I could get all uh, choked up and all rich rich myself when we were talking a few days ago we were getting to that point um, that uh, you know it's it's been such a, a whirlwind year from turning pro to a year later, standing on the Olympia stage, 202 pounds, you know. It's, uh, it's a mad, mad, mad year, mad year. After I came backstage, I went over to the booth, and there I was greeted by a mass of fans. So I spent a couple of hours on, on the booth signing photos and signing posters and Bob Chiclero came over to the booth and actually told me that I was up for an award. And to my shock, I was up for Rookie of the Year. I was one of the nominees. But I ended up taking the award for Rookie of the Year, which is you. This is the ending to a beautiful day. I mean, the third place, Rookie of the Year. I mean, you know, what's in store for 2009? Who knows? But uh, again, if, if it's gone anything like the end of 2008, I'm very excited. First and second place was between Kevin English and David Henry. David got beaten by in Kevin English in the New York Pro earlier on in the year, and obviously David won redemption. Well, it fell in his favour, and David beat Kevin for the 2 2 Mr. Olympia. Um, I was really happy for David. Uh, you know, you could tell by, by the end, uh, uh, you know, after the award was given. And, um, you know, I, I hope that David would be just as, as, as excited if I had won as well. But, uh, yeah, he's both are great guys. I'm sure we're going to do a lot of battling in the future. And um, all three of us have got three different physiques. So, again, it was in the judges' favour that they they seen David the victor this this uh, year, and, and uh, you know it's gonna it's gonna change next year if I got my ways. But um, uh, I just uh, um, you know just want them to bring their game next year, make sure they're on because I certainly will be. I'm going to come back here and, and and take that victory. I mean, yeah, I'm, I. I class myself as a modest guy, but yet I'm, I'm very, very driven and, and I know I'm, I set myself realistic goals. And, um, I'm just speaking from the heart and uh, I was looking at that and then, and then I was like, I really, really, really want to win this next year.
finish off by saying thank you very much to um, Gaspar Nutrition for giving me this opportunity uh, to um, show my story off. You know, coming from Wales to where I am now, it's a great opportunity. Gaspar and Weed have definitely been pushing me hard and, and long may able to continue. Um, in terms of um, everybody else, I mean, I'll try and keep it short and sweet, but um, you know, my. Um, my beautiful uh, family back in Wales, my mother and father. Uh, next year, they will be at the Mr. Olympia cheering their son on.